Now, good morning, traders. I uh, want to talk to you here about a, uh, a one-day calendar spread I'm thinking about placing here today. Um, it is like, as you can see here, the, the futures market, it's about 5 a.m. in the morning, <laughs> Eastern time. Uh, the ES here, which is the same thing as SPX, um, SPY, uh, it's down about 10 points, which is not that big of a move. Okay, your your VIX futures right here are up uh, just a little bit, which means the VIX is saying um, yesterday this thing was high as uh, about 24. So the VIX is calming down quite a bit, which which means the you know the volatility in the market's kind of calming down. So that's one reason I'm thinking about placing this one day calendar trade. So this is a live chart here. Make this a little bit bigger. Um, the SPY is at 462.21. Right here in the center of this calendar, as you can see, I have selected the 462 strikes. Uh, my short option is December the 23rd. That's tomorrow. Okay. The long option I've chose is a January the 5th. Uh, <clears throat> currently, the market is saying it's going to cost me $386 to place this trade. Okay, so um, as you can see here on the upside, it can go all the way to 468. And the low side, it can go down to about 455. And it'll still close in profit, this teal colored um, tent, if you will, shows a profit. So if it stays right at 462, as you look over here at this, you can see that it would, in theory, make about $261 in one day. So I'm thinking about placing that. Now, what happens if the uh, the market makes a bigger move than anticipated and goes outside this? Well, one, one adjustment you can make is your short option here on December the 23rd. You can roll that uh, at, for some time without changing the strike. Roll the 462 into, uh, you know, say the 27th, collect some more credit which would lower your overall cost and, and buy you some time. And in theory, um, January the 5th, as you can see, you've got one, two, three, four. You could roll this four times and collect credit each time to reduce your overall cost of the trade from the original 386. So that's one way you can adjust. The other way is, you know, is you can put another calendar on. Let's say it moves to right here. You can put another calendar on at the 468 uh, strike or 470, wherever it moves to, and, and center up another calendar. So there's a couple of adjustments made here. This is not just a, you know, a trade that no trade and options are a make the trade and forget it. You're locked in. There's always adjustments that can be made. So that's, you know, and, and what I'm looking here to make, um, you know, if I pay 386 calendar, good rule of calendar trades is to make 10%. We'll just round this up and say $40. So if this thing, uh, Thursday morning, opens up with a $40 win, I'll probably cash it out and close the trade out and take it. So, but if it's centered right here, you know, if it, um, and has a ch chance of a you know the two hundred and fifty dollar payoff. I might ride this thing out a little bit, maybe make a hundred bucks off of it. But that's just a trade I'm, I'm looking at putting on. Of course, uh, the market doesn't open for you know a um, few more hours. Things could change, but uh, one day calendar trade. So that's uh, what I'm looking at doing today. Good luck to you out there.